So, try this on today's video. I want to break down or show you guys why the four hour is so important before you execute your trades. Because I understand that I always share videos based on the hourly time frame. But if you look at those trades from the four hour time frame, you can clearly see that there's momentum and there's confluences and there's most of all pressure. Or let me let me not even say pressure, there's just momentum and confluence that aligns with the hourly time frame for my executions. But looking at the whole um, um trade or the whole setup on the four hour time frame. So before we get any further with the video. Do the right thing, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, comment in the video, click the link to sign up with the broker that I trade with, I highly recommend. Or if you want to be part of the COT Academy team, waiving exclusive mentorship services, you can just click the number down below or email us and just comment down below if you're interested in COT Academy. You can do the rest from the part of that I would do. Let's hit the charts. Let me share with you guys why the four hour is so important before you execute your trades based on the hourly setups based on or based on how you take your trades on the hourly time frame so when you clearly look at this structure from gold <clears throat> you all can clearly see that obviously if we had to zoom in the charts um let me just do this our structure is in an uptrend right structure is in an uptrend so now when you now look at the important um when we now look at the important stuff right here it's based on two things so mean not not basically many things but we clearly understand um that um we clearly understand right guys where's my um yeah here it is we clearly understand that price is in an uptrend on, on gold right so this is now the highest um point okay never mind this so this is now the highest point that gold has, has printed out and then this <clears throat> was the lowest point and then it became this our lowest point so when we look at this high from the four hour time frame and when you look at this low and this low you you, you now can clearly understand that price at a higher high and price at a higher low so from here we anticipate the broad continuation to the upside of new higher highs basically with price doing what violating violating this all-time high creating another all-time high but it happened that price created some type of what some type of lows right some type of highs right not higher than this highs and what happened from the price pushed to the downside and creating what creating this low so price started now giving us depletion right big depletion because you can clearly see that obviously structure is bullish but current price market our current price our current price at that moment is looking bearish right so we now can clearly see that price had bear engulfing candlesticks and a few bullish and bear engulfing candlesticks and started doing what and started and started rejecting right and started doing what started giving us rejections so with now price giving us rejections we now understand that this was our previous high low or was our previous higher low that price printed out before we anticipated what before we looked before price printed out the slower low after price printed out the slower low this was our lowest point so it now happened that from here price gave us depletion right so with with bad depletion we started seeing bullish momentum so once the bullish momentum started picking up in the charts you can clearly see that from rejections and bullish momentum we now understood that okay how price is sitting and how price is looking we might be looking to find what possible continuations to the upside but we're not sure as of yet until we see what confirmation or further confluences that align with how we base our trades and how we look for the markets or how price action is sitting at the time right so from the four hour time frame you now can clearly see that price is still looking bullish right here we now took this and marked the zone right here and raising bang we now need to understand that okay if we looked to continue bullish because here was our was our higher low before price created this low right so if price will hold above 
this um, 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 four hour higher low, then we can continue looking forward continuations to the upside, right? So once price hit this bullish candlestick that broke above our very same zone, we now understood that though, okay, our London session candlestick from 8 a.m. up in until 12 p.m. gave us a clean bullish close, right? And what above our very same zone, right? So when we look at the word, at the hourly time frame just to see how this happened or why this happened we now understood something very simple and we now broke down something very simple right because we now understand that this is our higher high this is our higher low and this is our high that price led into creating this new low right so when we now look at this we now understand that okay from this very same zone that we're looking to be bullish if price trades above when you come to this very same zone right here when you come here to the very circled we have circled up we have circled up you can you can now clearly see that the candlestick from 8 a.m on our pre new york on our pre london which is like an hour before in cat central african time right we now see that price has a bullish close above our zone and the coming candlestick we're having a rejection which is our london open candlestick which is 9 a.m we're having a bullish candlestick and the coming candlestick after our london open 10 a.m we're still having a bullish candlestick rejecting our very same high higher low the price has printed out from the four hour right so once price is starting to reject right here we now saw this momentum candlestick on 11 a.m this candlestick let me use this one this candlestick this one on 11 a.m so when this candlestick popped up we now understood that okay from the two rejection candlesticks on our london open and the coming candlestick which is 11 a.m why does it have momentum right we now asked ourselves because the four hour closed above why does this 11 a.m candlestick have momentum we rejected twice on our very same soul giving us confirmation or confluences that price is still looking to be bullish do you guys get that so from the 11 a.m candlestick we now hit our 12 a.m which is our four hour candle close from the london session right the our four hour candle close of the london session right so once this candlestick hit this bullish close above this very same candlestick we now understood that there's nothing else that we have to look for because our confluences align with us price is trading above our four hour higher low right and they coming and, and when we look at the hourly time frame two candlesticks which were, were our two london open candlesticks are rejecting that very same zone with bay open bullish close bay open bullish close and the coming candlestick had a momentum candlestick and the four hour close candlestick which is 12 pm gave us a clean full candlestick close right so with that being said we now waited for what we now waited for our candlestick to give us the confirmation the coming candlestick and when you look at it you can tell that this candlestick was bearish and then it flipped and traded bullish that's when it took our trade until we held and until our london our new york open hit and that's when we hit cp of a clean one to two do you guys get that so understanding that the four hour is most important before you can hop onto your hourly time frame to execute your trades that's what you need to understand the four hour is very important before you execute your trades confluences and confirmations start on the four hour time frame before we hit the lower time frames like your hourly your 30 your 15 or your five or your one minute do you guys get that so if you still want to learn more i want you to understand one thing go back and restart the video and watch it again and listen attentively and see what i'm talking about and put all the words that i'm telling you into practice by hitting the charts and see what i'm talking about so you can understand so you can learn so you can evolve and so you can be better do you guys get that but without further ado hope you stay blessed by the best this is your boy harlem king c-o-t and we're signing out